Every penny matters when it comes to mining the natural resources of the planet, not only because expenses are growing but also because commodity prices are becoming more unstable and there are other concerns such as resource nationalism. To solve some of the cost difficulties, the state-owned company Belaz in the former Soviet Republic of Belarus created the Belaz 75710, which is probably the largest dump truck in the world. It's enormous, costly, and, of course, amazing. Numerous mining companies have discovered that keeping up with one enormous truck is far less expensive than keeping up with two half-sized vehicles. But along with such vast scope come an abundance of enormous figures and astonishing facts, which we have examined in this video. So keep watching to get fascinating details about the biggest dump truck in the world. It has six times the horsepower of current Formula One racing cars, is longer than two double-decker buses parked end-to-end, -end, and, when fully loaded, weighs more than an Airbus A380 passenger plane. If you stood next to one of its eight tires, you could hardly reach halfway up. With a hauling capacity of 450 tons, it can transport 87 tons more than the current record holder. In order to enable it to carry more than current vehicles, its designers used a range of design elements. Instead of the standard six wheels, it has eight pairs. Each tubeless pneumatic tire has a capacity of 102 tons, which enables them to support the entire capacity load in addition to the 350 tons that the empty truck weighs. The gearbox of the monster truck is a hybrid diesel electric unit. In contrast to the typical family car's four or six cylinder engine, two 16 cylinder diesel engines power generators, which in turn supply electricity to run for electric motors. Peak torque of 13,738 pounds per FT, or over 24 times that of an engine from a 2014 Formula One car, is what the Belaz 75710 needs to continually start, stop, and push heavy loads up hills. The expected petrol consumption is 1,300 liters per 100 miles, however, the haul truck, as these vehicles are called in the mining sector, may only run on one engine when empty to save fuel. Engineers at Siemens designed the drive system, deciding on an all-wheel drive to improve traction distribution on both axles. Notably, given the dearth of tractors that can tow a machine this size back to the depot, it also means that in the event that one of the electric motors fails, the machine can still be driven back to a repair center on its own power. One of just two people who have operated the large truck in actual mining conditions, test driver Andre Vashkovich of Belaz, remarked, I feel happy to be driving such a mammoth. This Belaz 75710 is now being used by Vashkovich in an open pit coal mine in the Kuzbis region of Russia to transport waste stones. The site is mined by SDS Ugal, a major coal miner that is a subsidiary of the Sibirsky Delavod Soyuz holding company. It's simple to drive, but it takes a little getting used to its size. Driving in challenging situations, like on icy roads, is made easier by the all-wheel drive system, and braking is more effective. Having a large vehicle that can tow enormous loads is useless if it is difficult to drive. To assist drivers in traveling to their destination swiftly, both axles steer. Its 65-foot turning radius is not much larger than that of its smaller twin, the Belaz 360 truck, which is the next largest dumper truck, at 56 feet. With a top speed of 40 miles per hour and the ability to climb a 10 degrees incline at 25 miles per hour, the truck is 26 feet tall. In brief lengths, it can tolerate slopes of 18%. Siemens engineers can keep an eye on the truck's performance, fix issues, and update the Belaz 75710 software remotely from their offices in Alpharetta, Georgia, all without leaving the vehicle. On hot days, cooling problems are especially common with large engines. Additionally, there's a strong chance that on a chilly morning, you won't be able to start your diesel engine. Extremely hot and cold temperatures are tolerable to the Bell AZ75710. Strong blow plugs for cold starts and an extensive cooling system to prevent overheating are features shared by both V16 engines. Now, two more Belaz 75,710s are under construction. Those who are interested in buying one should budget somewhat over $6 million.